Welcome to another installment of Kansas City History. I'm in a very important part of Kansas City, a um, very important part of Kansas City's history. And I'm at the corner of Grand and Main. And you'll see to my north here, Liberty Memorial. Liberty Memorial, World War I Memorial and Museum. Definitely, definitely worth a stop by. Behind it is Union Station, very famous spot in Kansas City, and they also have uh, rotating exhibits. You'll see here the silver artwork, and you'll see Crown Center is just straight through there, right next to those two buildings. To the east of me, right through there, is Old Union Cemetery, and Union Cemetery is a treasure. It has a walking tour and some great historical figures in Kansas history, Kansas City history, like the, the grave of Alexander Majors, one of the three founders of the Pony Express, um, and George Caleb Bingham, a very famous painter, uh, as well as some people who are involved in the uh, Kansas-Nebraska Act, the bogus legislation, bogus constitution of Kansas, and whether we were gonna be a slave state or a free state, and some governors of states as well. To the south west of me, Federal Reserve Bank, Kansas City, and the Money Museum. Money Museum is a free museum, and it's a, it's, it's a neat stop. Uh, lots of examples of currency, and you can see a little bit of the robots and machinery going around in, in it. Um, but you don't get into the bank itself. But what I'm really here for, so I drive down here a lot, you know, for, for different things, and for the cemetery, or for, we're going to Crown Center, or Liberty Memorial, um, and there's, there's this bell, and I've never stopped to see what this bell was. And I wondered if it was anything important, and I thought probably not. Well, turns out this is something really cool. To the south of this bell, so right behind it, was St. Mary's Hospital. St. Mary's Hospital was established by the Sisters of St. Mary, now the Franciscan Sisters of Mary. And the stone down here is the original cornerstone from that hospital, laid October 13th, 1907. The hospital itself was dedicated May 18th, 1909, which happens to be my birthday, just a few years later after that. And the hospital shut down February 11th, 1988. But it served Kansas City for so long. You know, obviously, almost 90 years served Kansas City. Make that 80. <laughs> but the bricks on here are the original bricks from the chapel inside the hospital. And this bell is the original bell from the chapel. So this monument that I've driven past a hundred times and never seen is a monument to the St. Mary's Hospital which ran from 1909 to 1988 it's the actual cornerstone, actual brick from the chapel, and the actual chapel bell. Now, me being me, you know I have to do something. Guess what? It works. That's right. One of the coolest things about this is that the bell actually works. Most places, the bells don't work. They've taken the drum out, or it's just on display and it's it's soldered in there. But this bell works. So, Grand and Main in Kansas City, Liberty Memorial, Federal Reserve Bank, Union Cemetery, uh, Union Station, Crown Center, and a monument to St. Mary's Hospital. Come down, if you're ever down here and you see it, Give the bell a ring. Why not? Wake up the Federal Reserve. This has been another installment of Kansas City History. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it.